Mr. Mayor. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Gill Fillon. Is that right? Would you tell us, first of all, where you live? I live in New York City, that is, Tudor City. But I was born in Minnesota. My father was a missionary to the Indians, and I went barefoot until I was 19. Good heavenly <laughs> days. Um, <laughs> would this be a rude question? How old are you now, then? Well, I'm nearly 73 now. What? Good. Child. Listen, that's wonderful. My heavenly days, you look young enough to be my daughter. Would you then please take a romp down there in front of the panel for me, please? Honey, you may be 73, but you got the spirit of 76. <laughs> <laughs> look out for Hal Block, Miss Gilfillan. <laughs> All right, Miss Gilfillan, would you come over here now, please, and sit down next to me? Well, I washed my hands because I thought, well, then I'm... <laughs> 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 well, they're very nice, and that's a very pretty shade of nail polish. All right, Miss Gilfillan, <laughs> would you come over here and sit down now? Because we have only about um, bits to go, panel. So that on the basis of the quick look that you have had at our guest, we now go back to our regular format, which is the free guest, and we begin the free guest with Miss Kilgallen. I think she teaches dancing. Mr. Sir. I think she's a needlework expert. Miss Francis. I think she's a wardrobe mistress. Mr. Block. I think she's cute. Well, I think she's cute too, but that's not enough of an answer, so we'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Kilgallen, and at the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. But panel, you better dig. Miss Kilgallen, every time that you give a no answer, custom five hours, we keep the record up here. Ten no's, you've won the game. Miss Gilfillan is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Bennett Surf, and we have about two minutes and 15 seconds to get it. Miss Gilfillan, do you perform services of any kind? Yes. Do you go to people's houses to perform the service? Ever? Uh, not as a rule. Do you sometimes go? But I sometimes go? do. Uh, when you get there, would you say that you did some kind of artistic or aesthetic work? of any kind? Artistic um. or aesthetic? Uh, I don't think <laughs> no, we can call that artistic. Uh, no. No, no. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Uh, do you have anything to do in any way with children? No. <clears throat> Decidedly <laughs> not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Mr. Block. Do you deal mostly with grown-ups, then? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Both men and women? Yes. Uh, do you, uh, Mr. Block, ask her if she can use your service, or you can use her service. <laughs> Happy. Would I be the kind of a person that would use your services? No, you wouldn't need it. Miss Phil, he would. He'd need it. <laughs> At last, I've been kissed by a man. <laughs> Well, all right, Mr. Black, I, I will not rule you out because I think you'd need her services, so you go on with the questioning, Mr. Black. I'm overwhelmed from kissing her. I'll pass the door. All right, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, at other times, do people come to you to have the service performed? Yes, uh, sometimes. Do you come into physical contact with them? What was that? Do you, do you, com do you come into physical contact with these people? Well, only, only very occasionally. I see. Uh, well, is your work mostly mental? Oh, no, not at all, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, no, that's um, three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Gilfillan, does your work involve any kind of repairing or fixing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Actually, it yes. does, but our time is running out, and I'll tell you what kind of repairing. Uh, Miss Gilfillan is a facelifter. She teaches facial exercises that will tighten up the muscles and move down the thing. Well, bless you, Miss Gilfillan. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not a Venus, especially on television, but give me time, I'm still improving. Maybe by my 80, I'll look like something. You can't <laughs> miss, and thanks very much for being out here for the rest of our lives. This is the first time we have very much to And now, in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you a preview of our big and important...